Oh yeah, you are finally record ready. Coffee in hand, outfit on point for this video. You are looking good. Script finally tuned and a blend of excitement and anticipation building up inside as you gear up to hit record or go live and share your video right on schedule. You're thinking, I got this. And then your camera fails, your mic is muted. God knows where your software crashes, you're glitching, and just like that, you have gone from, I'm getting this done, to, oh, I'm getting out of here. Your excitement and anticipation completely deflates, leaving you annoyed and honestly ticked off. You're ready to give up, but your audience is depending on you. At the very least, you've committed to doing this video thing, so are you gonna let a little tech issue get in the way of showing up and reaching your goals? Hell no. Do not be scared of the tech going wrong, because here's a secret. It's not a matter of if it will fail, it's a matter of when, and you cannot, cannot let it stop you or else it will always stop you. So let's get you prepared to be able to confidently deal with tech fails. There are two pieces of this puzzle, the computer and the gear itself, like the camera lights, mic, etc. Make sure you're giving yourself the best chance for success. So I have four questions to ask yourself. Number one, is your computer capable of handling the things you want it to do? For instance, if you're recording just the camera, that's it, you're likely good to go. If you're recording or going to Zoom and you have a bunch of graphics and animation, you want to do, that could be a bit of an issue. If you're streaming live, that is the heaviest thing that you can ask your computer to do, so you could run into issues. Number two, how powerful is your computer? The newer the computer, the better. If it is older, it can still work, but the more GPU or graphics processor you have in your computer, the better results that you're going to get. Trying to do video-related stuff on a MacBook Air, for instance, is more likely to have issues. Three, is it dedicated or are you having to share tasks on this computer? If you can dedicate a computer to only video and live streams, that's even better because its performance will not be affected by all of the apps that you're using and doing everything else on that same machine. And number four, are you starting each video with a clean slate? I want you to close all the apps not needed for this video or live stream that you're recording. Turn off the background syncing from apps like Dropbox and Google Drive, etc. Do a fresh reboot of the machine and keep your computer low on the use of storage. Move the majority of your files to an external hard drive or Google Drive. So some common issues you might encounter are the software or computer could crash while recording or streaming. It could stutter or buffer or glitch. The computer's fan could start to whir and get really loud like it's about to take off like a plane. Your audio could become out of sync. If any of these things happen, it means that you're asking too much from it. You will need to scale back the tasks. And by tasks, I mean this. Hitting record is a task. Going live is a heavier task. Streaming to multiple locations locally from your machine is even heavier. Graphics and overlays like this is another task. Animations like this are even a heavier task. Doing interviews is a heavy task. Multiple cameras is a heavier task than a single camera. Everything you're doing is taking up computer resources, which is not a problem unless your computer doesn't have enough to give to you, which is why a newer one is better or at least bigger specs like like what we talked about. Which leads us to the second part of this, the gear, like the cameras, the lights, the mics. If that stuff fails, I want you to know how to figure out what went wrong so you can quickly get back to shooting your video or going live. Now, sometimes you may not know the actual problem. I get a lot of questions from people where they identify an issue but place the blame on the wrong thing. For example, if you lost your camera image, you might blame the camera. It could be the camera, but it could also be a loose cable or even a software issue itself. So if things stop working, your first step is to power it all down. Did you turn it off and on again? There's a reason that line exists. Then I want you to trace the flow. Start at the actual source, the camera or the light, etc. Is it actually getting power? Is it turning on? If that doesn't work, then look at the cables that are plugged into that device. Unplug, plug back in. If that doesn't work, then trace the cable to the computer. Unplug it on the computer side, plugging it back in. You can even try to replace the cable with a fresh one. Then look at the software. Is it seeing the device? 
source. And that's what I mean by tracing the flow. Go from the source to the software. Now from here, if you've had no luck, you could spend literally all day fiddling around with stuff and never find the right issue. So the best solution is to do this, rebuild it. I know that it sounds super annoying and it sounds like a lot of work, but it is honestly the quickest way to understand where the issue lies. So unplug all of your devices and start plugging them back in one at a time. Every step throughout the process, every time you add something back into the setup, see if it works. The moment you find something that doesn't work properly, you know that's the piece that needs fixing. Now this works because like I said earlier, you don't always know what the root cause of the issue is. You might think you do, but you could be placing blame on the wrong thing. So this start from scratch and check each item as you build it back up works to identify that root cause. That's why it's actually faster than beating your head against the wall trying to fix the wrong thing. Now, if you want the best chance of not having to figure out what's wrong with your tech, then I've taken care of that for you. I have already chosen the gear for you that's most likely to work smoothly. I've shown you exactly how to set it up for the greatest success without a whole bunch of decisions or hair pulling moments of frustration, you know that. I've given you a list of common issues of things that can go wrong and told you exactly what to do to fix those issues. And it's all in one place in an easy and simple paint by number style system. It's called the Bold Video Bundle and you can get access to it at livestreamingpros.com slash video. I have even given you access to me to ask as many questions as you want in our Get Unstuck Q&A calls. Bonnie said the program has been fabulous. I really, really appreciate having a streamlined step by step. This is what you do. It just made the the whole process a whole lot easier and helped me get out of my own way. Boom! You are not alone in this process. You can do it and you can have me by your side as you do accomplish a simple yet professional setup that's gonna put your best self forward in your videos so you can get the tech out of the way and get to the good stuff, creating your videos with ease. And when the tech does fail, remember to breathe. <sighs> remember you are capable and remember that you will become somebody who is not afraid of the tech anymore.